Hey everyone. All right, so I'm just gonna put together a super quick and concise tutorial on how to get a Source Filmmaker model into Animation Prep Studio so that you can use it for motion capture. All right, first thing you're gonna wanna do is just figure out what model you wanna use. So, we will just get Source Filmmaker here and we'll just look up a model. For example, we'll do this model of mine. Now, if you don't know where the model is located in Source Filmmaker, you can always right click on it, show an element viewer, and model. And this will tell you where it is. Now, we're not even going to touch SFM anymore. We're going to go right to Blender. And the first thing you will need is you will need to download Source IO. You can just Google it, get it right here on the first GitHub, download this, and you would just download this. And this lets you import Source Filmmaker models into Blender. So, once you have downloaded Source IO and you've added it, where is it? Yep, and you've added it inside Blender as an add on, we will go import Source Engine Assets, Source Model, and we'll look for the model. Let's see, so user mod folder, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, like I said, you need to remember where it is, but I know where it is. So we will go models. Oh, uh, let's see, where is the wigwoo folder? Oh, they're not sorted by name. There we go, that would help. Okay. And before you import it, make sure you set the world scale to one or the model is going to be extremely tiny. So we will import it and then we'll give it a second. Got it. Okay. And then literally the only thing you have to do is just immediately export it as an FBX file save it somewhere where you're going to remember it. So I'll just throw it on the desktop and I'll just name it test, I guess, just for the sake of knowing where it is. All right, and I'll export it. Give that a second. While that's finishing, so now we're gonna open up Unity. Come on. All right, and just so you know, this is the specific version of Unity you will need. 2019.4.40F1. And if you ever need help finding it, you can literally just Google this. And you should be able to find it right here. You just go to 2019, right there, install. Uh, it might ask you to install Unity Hub first, so that'll just get you this, but no biggie. All right, and then we will just start a new project. So new project, 3D, and we'll name it. Test Bunny, create. Now, this is not going to be an in-depth tutorial on how to actually use Unity. Just the basics to get the model up and running for motion capture. That's all I'm, we're gonna do. So now, you're actually free to close Blender now. We don't even need Blender anymore. Okay. Now we need to go to where that uh, FBX saved, which I believe should be here. Yep, okay, test. Give it a second.
Okay. Up, oh, up, oh, not done yet. Come on. There we go. All right, so you're just gonna drag that FBX file right into the assets folder on Unity. And give it a second. If you like, I would also go to, um, if you have the texture files for the model, this would also be a good time to drag those in. Now, if most of you are pulling models from Source Filmmaker, you might not know how to get the textures. But there's a program you'd want to download called VTF Edit. This just lets you um, import and extract Source Filmmaker textures. You can find a tutorial on how to use that if you need to. But, so, let me just go to where the model is actually located again, just so we can get the textures. You don't have to do this. You don't have to get the textures into Unity just for the mocap. I'm just kind of doing this just to make it look a little nice. Oop, wrong folder. There we go. All right, so, oh yeah. One thing I should remember is just keep in mind what textures you need. I'm just gonna do these three, body, eyes, and head, just to get, just to make it so the texture's not black and white inside the program. We'll drag those in there. All right, and now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the actual model and drag it right here into the scene hierarchy. And if you want to texture it here, I'll show you just how to get the texture stuff out of the way. Right click here, create material, look for material. Just make sure you name it. I'll name it body and drag the body texture here into this albedo. And then we're going to do it again. Eyes and Head. Like I said, you don't have to do this part, but I just do it so the model's not black and white. Now drag these to the part they go to on the model. I'll drag the eye, oops, wrong one. Drag the eyes to the eyes, the body to the body. There we go. You can mess with this stuff if you want. Like I said, you don't have to worry about it. But all right, let's get the model set up now. We're gonna click the model here. We're going to go to select, we're going to go to rig, and we're going to make sure this is changed to humanoid, and then just hit apply. Sorry, it takes a second once you hit apply. Just, just, just give it a bit. All right. So now we're going to go back into it. And now we're going to hit configure. You can save it if you'd like. Now, this part's kind of important. We got to make sure all these bones match up to what they need to. And if you see this error, characters non t pose. Just to get that out of the way, you scroll all the way down here, click pose, and force T-pose. That'll just force the bones into a T-pose. Now, we're just going to make sure these all look correct. Hips, yep. That's the pelvis bone, good. Spine, chest, shoulder. Just make sure, and if you need to change it, you click this little circle button to actually change the bone it's associated with. Just make sure all these look good. And make sure there's no red. If there is red, well, there's some red in the head. So let's switch from body to head, see what's up. Oh, let's see the left eye. That's fine. The jawbone, huh, the jawbone's also set to the left eye. Well, this model doesn't have a jawbone, so I'm just gonna change it to none. If your model does have a jawbone, then you can change that to the jaw, but that's fine. And if you want, you can make sure all your fingers are set 
This model does not have pinky fingers. It's only a four-fingered model, so does that all look good? Index, one, two, yep, metal ring. Awesome. Yeah, and you can check both hands, just make sure everything looks good. Great. And as long as all those bones are good to go, just going to scroll down, hit apply. All right, and then you're just going to click done. And then yet again, just take the model, drag it back up in the scene hierarchy. And at this point, you're done. So there's a couple things. If you want to, now would be the time you can add dynamic bones. If you're familiar with Unity or if you've ever made a VR chat model, you might know dynamic bones adds jiggle bones to the model. So you can add dynamics to like, you know, the ears, the tail hair if your model has hair, things like that. But once your model is good to go, oh yeah, looks like I just got to quickly redo the textures. That's super quick and easy. All right, but just make sure you have the model selected. And now we just need to add the SDK for APS. And you can download this SDK inside the Discord server. We're just going to drag the SDK right here. You can also do this at the very beginning if you'd like. It doesn't really matter which order you draw, drag the SDK in. But I'll just drag it right now. This will have the ability to actually export the model. All right, now we're just going to click add component and type in APS. We're going to add this one and we're just going to click build avatar from FBX. And that should be the final step. The only thing is just to add the model to mocap fusion. Sorry, I know I call it animation prep studios. It went under a few different names. So apologies if I call it the wrong name. But we're just going to now get ready to get it put in here. So we're going to go to the C drive, going to go to users, your username, we're going to go to app data, local low, animation prep studios, Luxor, and VR mocap assets. And then we'll just wait for Unity to finish. And then once Unity's done, it should give us just a folder. There we go. And so now we're done with Unity. If you want, you can save it. I'm not gonna, but take this and drag it into the VR mocap assets folder. You can replace if you'd like, no big deal. All right. And then you should be free to just open mocap fusion.
I don't have my VR headset plugged in, so I apologize I can't fully show this in action, but just to show you it should work. All right, we'll open the VR menu. I just click up here and click VR menu, but avatars. I should have named it test, I believe. Yep, right there. Ready to activate. And then yeah, if you have your VR headset actually hooked up, you know, the model obviously won't look like this, but um, yeah. At that point, that's about all there is to to get a model in mocap fusion so you can mocap it. But yeah, if you have any um, specific errors, any specific questions, I do highly recommend you join the Discord server for Animation Prep Studios. That way um, you can ask your tech related questions and get some better help than do using the comment section. But uh, yeah, feel free to ask any questions in the comment section too and I'll try to direct you as best I can. But uh, yeah. If, you, if this helped you, consider leaving a like, join the Discord server, and have fun making some amazing mocaps.